Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 228. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 221 to 229. Hey, in this trick, we have a great trick for text formulas. Here it is, we have a little income statement and we need the who, what, when. We need Sue's accounting service on one line income statement on a second line and then for the period ended uh, this end date on the third line. The problem is if we use a uh, text formula and wrap text, wrap text would be right there in 2007 or wrap text would be control one and uh, wrap text there. Notice I have center cross selection which is better than merge and center. Um, wrap text won't do it because we need uh, our, our space here or, or the width of our columns is too wide. We really want to force a hard return. So let's do our text for me and I'll show you how to in your formula uh, specify where the hard return is. All right, uh, let's start our formula equals. Let's click on Sue's accounting and then ampersand and the next line uh, will be and I'm going to double quote because we're going to type some text income statement so those are two things we've concatenated now wait a second um, if I if I hit enter right here notice I've spelled a word wrong if you run spell check spell check won't find a spelling error in a text formula so uh, I am a bad speller, a bad typer, so I always have to run spell check in edit mode. So and I'll go up here since F7 will turn off my video and sure enough it found it. Alright, so we have one line, that'll be that, and then two line. The next thing we want is for the period ended and that. I'm going to put for the month ended. So I'm going to ampersand. Um, and actually we don't need to do that. We could, uh, yes we do because we're going to do the, we need a hard return. For the, I'm going to do month ended. And as we know, if we um, click on this cell and concatenate this, since this is a date and this is a format that we're seeing here, underneath is a serial number, concatenation always takes the unformatted version. In fact, formulas never look at formatting unless you force the issue. And so we will use the text function. We'll say this cell, comma, there's the value, but then we need to tell it what kind of format, and we want this format. Now this is custom number formatting. You would find this in uh, Format Cells Number tab. Uh, if you want to see uh, uh, some notes in a video, I have, if you download this workbook, I have some notes about custom number formatting. But here it is, here's the custom num number format. Month, 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 month to show February space D just to show the day comma and then year 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 three of them to show the 2008 and then you have to put n double quote now that's double quotes around this custom number format and then we're gonna close parentheses and there's our formula if I hit enter now I have already done wrap text so if I come here and double click oh wait a second so wrap text really doesn't do it because we need a hard return right there and right there. So let's see how to do this in the formula. Hit F2 and we just have to use the character function. I'm going to click right here because this is where I want my first hard return. Character. And now what does the character function do? I have the number 10 there. Character, uh, you have a co uh, number code here that tells the character function what character to add to the formula. Now 65 is the letter A, 66 is the letter B. 10 just happens to be a hard return. So that's how we add it. And we need to put an ampersand here. Now let's just see if this worked. I'm going to hit enter. And sure enough it did work there, but we still need one right there. So I'm going to click here and hit F2 and we have too many spaces right there and right there so I'm going to backspace and then right here we can put character character 10 ampersand and that should do it this character 10 is how you add a hard line return to a formula if I come over here and double click now it works and you also do have to have wrap text too um, if you don't have wrap text then it shows a little funny uh, 
square uh, instead of an actual hard return. All right, uh, character function, character function, and text formulas. We'll see you next trick.